David is back with a look at our forecast. He'll need that, that cover for some of the rain we've had. Absolutely, and this parade of storms, Brian, continues. Just as we're clearing out one storm from this morning, we're getting ready for another Arctic cold front later on tonight. Let's put the water vapor and radar into motion over the last 12 hours or so. And you can see all that moisture in the atmosphere that was hanging around this morning. A lot of that green showing up this morning as well. Widespread light rain and drizzle didn't add up to much, though. We only got less than a quarter of an inch of rain here in Austin. Notice, though, that clearing off toward the west. That is a lot drier air working into the area, and it's going to continue to work eastward into Austin and surrounding communities, and that's going to clear out our skies very nicely by a little bit later this afternoon. In the meantime, though, it's still cloudy in most areas, and because of that, a little bit cool. 46 degrees right now in Georgetown. Mid to upper 40s, pretty widespread. A couple of degrees warmer here in the city, between 50 and 51 degrees. We're starting to see a few little peaks of sunshine right now on a live shot from the Austonian weather cam. Looking off towards the north, at the top of the hour, though, the airport was still officially under cloudy skies. 51 degrees right now in town. Winds are calm, and that humidity from all the rainfall this morning still very high out there. But that will be declining this afternoon. Look at this. Right now, cloudy, but by 4 p.m., pretty confident will be mostly sunny. That, combined with a nice southwesterly breeze coming in, should warm us up to almost 70 degrees. We're calling for a high temperature today of 68. A beautiful day after that uh, rainy start this morning. Another storm system is coming, though. Check out what's exiting right here. A beautiful comma shape to that winter storm to our north. Now, bottled up right behind that is another Arctic cold front, and it hasn't been able to progress much southward today because of that advancing storm system. But as this big comma shaped winter storm exits to the east a little bit later this afternoon, that's going to be able to accelerate this cold front to the south on that wraparound flow behind it. And because of that, we're expecting that cold front to arrive right here in central Texas overnight tonight. Pretty long journey in a short amount of time. Temperatures behind that front very cold, 19 in Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska, negative two degrees. That's without the wind chill, folks, in Fargo, North Dakota. So as that front approaches our area, here's what we can expect. The local impacts being cold air arriving overnight tonight. We will wake up very uh, cold and windy tomorrow. And look at this, high temperatures. These are highs in the 30s and 40s, not only tomorrow, but Thursday and Friday as well. And as we've been warning you about for several days now, it looks like a little disturbance will ride over that cold air a little bit later in the week. And that's going to make for a slight chance of ice all over central Texas on Thursday morning, but then mainly again on Friday morning. Now, as we've been telling you, the chances of precipitation are very, very low. Temperatures will be cold enough, but it's just a matter of if we see that precipitation or not. And right now, we're not terribly worried. But as you know, it only takes a small amount to create some big problems. So we'll be watching that for you. All right, cold front comes in tonight, cools everybody down to the 30s. Tomorrow behind that front, everybody in the 40s. It will be a much colder day tomorrow than what we're enjoying today. Check it out. 68 degrees, a lot of sunshine coming in later today. Tonight, though, that cold front pushes us down to 34. Strong northerly winds up to 25 miles per hour by dawn tomorrow morning. Those strong winds persist all throughout the day on a mostly cloudy and cold Wednesday. And boy, look at that. 37 degrees for a high on Thursday. Chances of ice right now on both days only at 10%, but we'll be watching it very closely for you, Brian.